What's good, thing is of all ages, it's Death Hawk here, and today we'll be talking about the developer for the next Call of Duty in the franchise. The next Call of Duty in the franchise, which is still of an unknown name, has just received 100% uh, confirmed information that the developer is going to be Sledgehammer Games. You might remember Sledgehammer Games from Modern Warfare 3, they worked on the multiplayer on that, and it didn't turn out that well, but uh, you really can't blame that all on Sledgehammer, they, they were, it wasn't just them, they had to work with Infinity Ward, Raven Software, there was like Havoc and stuff, a lot of people there that wasn't just them. This game, as far as we know, is just going to be them, there's probably going to be some small developers helping, but this is Sledgehammer's time to create an, an original Call of Duty title, and we don't know how good it might or may not be, so the only thing we can really do is hope, and hope that <clears throat> Sledgehammer Games is a community-oriented uh, company, so they'll actually listen to the community. Uh, Infinity Ward really doesn't do that, Treyarch really does, but the, uh, they're really connected to social media, and they will like answer questions and stuff, and they will listen to what the community needs, so hopefully Sledgehammer is more community-oriented than at least Infinity Ward, and they will probably get a half decent game running and they did release a statement and it was very inspirational if you can call it that so there was hope As, and at the Duty Championships uh, Team Martin was talking to one of the developers or something and he said that they were really excited about esports so hopefully this next game is going to be really balanced for esports and everything and league play maybe and hopefully they'll have a good third mode like instead of campaign and multiplayer a horde mode. Who knows? Maybe Treyarch can give them zombies. It's just so like it can continue instead of waiting three years to find the four zombie maps. And yeah, so now that they have the three-year cycle, I was worried about something that they're gonna be working three years for a game that's only gonna last one year. And I mean, they're doing that now. I mean, people can deal with it for the one year, but now they're gonna have more time to make the game better. But, what does that mean for the DLC? Are we still gonna only get the, the four DLC packs? Or are they gonna do what Battlefield does, which I think is the route they need to take? Which is... Release the game, like say, say we Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 comes out and we get... Maybe... Uh, four DLCs. And then, Auto War, uh, Call of Duty Ghost comes out. Now, throughout Call of Duty Ghost, we get an extra two DLCs during Call of Duty Ghost. Which is similar to what Battlefield does. Battlefield, Battlefield 3 came out, they had two DLCs. And then, Medal of Honor Warfighter came out, which is also made by DICE and stuff. So, that came out, and I, I don't know if they released DLC for that, but I know they kept releasing Battlefield uh, DLC. This would prolong the lifetime of all the games, it would give the developer the developers more stuff to keep the community on their game and I think that would be the right turn for Call of Duty to make if they want to please the community so like everyone has their favorite company they can still get the game get the DLC longer so maybe Black Ops 2 would have a life cycle like maybe mine just got the fifth Black Ops 2 DLC and then maybe sometime this summer we get the next one just to keep the game fresh and like continue the story of maybe zombies so we don't have a two year gap in between it so just to keep it going and I don't know about multiplayer maps but maybe they would just keep multiplayer maps or rolling in and stuff just to keep the game going so there's not a two year gap in between the storylines and everything and it would keep everything moving I mean maybe the season pass might raise up 10 bucks or something but I think I would honestly do that it's the Treyarch game, but we don't know about Sledgehammer. If Sledgehammer makes a great game, that's great. So, that's all we can do is hope for the future, and hopefully Sledgehammer makes a decent game. So, alright guys, that's basically it. That's all I want to talk about. I just heard of this, I had to make a video. So, expect great things in the future. This has been Death Hog, do for that like button.